All right, let's go, 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 let's go. As one Crookshank, your one and only Moose Swiftly speaker checking in for a daily Moose Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. Convenience, convenience, making life a little more convenient for your for your customers or your consumers or your shareholders or your investors, whatever it is, your whoever it is is regularly buying your stuff. You got to be making life just a little more convenient for them. Let me give you an example. Just yesterday. I posted a picture about my horrendous, horrendous chafing problem. For you guys who don't know what chafing means, it means like usually runners get, when we run in colder, cooler weather, <clears throat> we have an issue with uh, like whether your thighs are bleeding. In my situation, there were my nipples were bleeding. They were bleeding like hell. And I posted a picture of how bloody they were. And you know, because it was so bad, I did some research on the best things that I should be using to stop the chafing problem. And there was a product out there named Body Glide. Body Glide that was highly recommended. So I looked it up online and it was highly recommended. People were telling me to use it. Well, you know, they weren't telling me directly what they were saying when it comes to the reviews of the products that, of the product that it works when it comes to the chafing problem and all that. So I went to, I looked to see around where they might've had it. And luckily, luckily they had a, they had, several they had several of the products they had several items several of the products several of the body glide products they had several of them at a local target right here in lake park in palm beach gardens florida and all that right so i went to target to pick some up and you know i'm looking at it uh, looking at it look looking it up online and one of the things i noticed that target not only do they show if you have the product if they have the product in stock but they also show what aisle to get it in. You know, sometimes when you go to Target, in fact, I did an entire, I did an entire <clears throat> article on, you know, the difference between Target and Amazon. And, you know, one of the things that I was talking about is, you know, Amazon has it where you can go specifically, you don't have to wait in line and, you know, it, it's less time for the customer to get what they want. So what I realized is that Target actually has the aisle, had the aisle that the product is actually located in. So I went right in, I knew what aisle to go to. I didn't have to, you know, bounce around, ask people where to find the Body Glide product and all that. So I knew exactly where to go and I picked it up and I used it. I used it this morning and it's a little colder today than it was yesterday. And then look how well it worked. Look how well that worked. Barely, well, there's a little bit, but compared to what, what, was, what it was yesterday, completely different result. And these are the things that I try to, I'm trying to explain to you guys. It's all in the process. It's all in the process. It's all in making the process a little more convenient, a little more fluid for your consumer. And you got to be thinking about it. You got to be thinking about, excuse me, you got to be continuously thinking about what your typical consumer goes through every day and how you can make their life a little bit easier. In fact, I'll close you out with this example. Speaking of Target, there's a story that has, has been floating around that mentor of mine named Jerry, Dre Baldwin regularly repeats on his show. I remember he was telling me about this in his mastermind, but there was a, there was a high, like there was someone who was trying to get their there was someone who was trying to get their products into Target and they had a meeting with like the higher level execs and you know constantly every time they would say something about the products every time they would say something about the products that they were trying to get into the Target store the guy would say Karen wouldn't want this Karen wouldn't want that Karen wouldn't want any of these Karen wouldn't like this and this that and the third right so the guy with the products goes hey <laughs> you know why don't we just bring Karen in here since we're always talking about Karen so we're always talking about Karen and she's not going to like this and not going to like that. And then the exec said, no, Karen's not an actual person. It's just our avatar that we made up. <laughs> and we're thinking about her every time we say yes and no to whether a product's going to be on our shelves. Right? So I challenge you, I encourage you guys to think of that same person. Think of a person that you can actually put a name, a face to and say, that's my ideal person. That's my ideal person. For me personally, it's your, <laughs> it's your high school coach who's also a parent and is also very involved in the business aspect of the athletic program you know the coach the parent and the business the like the entrepreneur of the athletic program is specifically my avatar and i i've named him coach john vassos i told you guys that about i just told you guys that about that last year right so i challenge you guys to do the same thing it's going to clarify a whole lot of things for your business and make it so you're you can create a fluid, a fluid process and a fluid concept for all your your customers and your potential customers to go through, right? 
Main website to check out to dive deeper into all my work, makeyamove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. One stop shop for all your teamwork and your self development needs. Ask one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.